right, welcome back, my people. Now, still the Guru Morning Ninja Show. And if you just join me, well, you don't miss the top story segment and the newspaper review segment with Ezugu Chukudi. But uh, we we'll go straight to our first conversation this morning. Our first uh, better uh, chat we'll go get. And you know, say so we always bring better conversations on the show. Uh, this morning, we'll talk to one better individual. He's a legal practitioner and the name is uh, uh, Barrister Harry Wambweze. Barrister, you are welcome to the Thank show this very morning. Much. Yes, so uh, make we not waste time because in this matter we won't talk about, so I know, say, so very, very, very necessary. People, they hear this thing, federalism, federalism, federalism. Uh, for people, where they, they, where they watch, if you know, say, eh, federalism, we know to understand what it be, how we take consign me, what me my own. And uh, we can't even talk about how, but we start from what federalism be. If you just give us, to layman, where they watch, how you go feel break them down for and make you understand? Uh, in a simple terms, federalism is um, a system of government, right? Mm. Where powers are distributed. Okay. You know, between the two major um, um, systems of government, that's mm -hmm. the federal government mm -hmm. and the regional mm -hmm. units. So, um, you know, and they share this um, powers in such, you know, measure mm -hmm. where, um, you know, there's either dependence or interdependence, or yeah. as the yeah. case may be. Mm -hmm. And to a great extent, it is also expected that the regional units will have semi-autonomy. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. So... Uh, this um, concept, um, this system of government um, actually dates back to 1914. Okay. When there was amalgamation. Within the northern and the southern. And the southern uh, protectorate, protectorate yes. exactly. Yes. And so you f this was, I think it was introduced by Lugard. And um, if you check back 1914, you see the system of government that was in existence then. The... Um, uh, the Yoruba Empire, the mm -hmm. Yoruba system, you mm -hmm. had um, the, what, what, what do you, Alafi of yeah, Yoyo, the Alafi yeah. of the Yoyo, yeah. the old Oyo Empire, mm -hmm. okay, who um, has all the past to yes. himself, mm -hmm. but he's been checked by the, uh, what do you call them, Oyo Macy's yeah. and Co. Yeah. Then you go back to the Alsas, you have um, the Emias, mm -hmm. okay, I remember that the Yoruba system was a little bit egalitarian, mm -hmm. you know, why the Aosas were a bit of indirect, indirect, indirect rule, rule system. Rule, yeah, yeah. The Emirs were really had a power, and but they had chiefs. They that have, do, yes, you know, chiefs and yeah. waziris and all that. Mm -hmm. And so, but they were not liable to them. Why the Igbos had, um, you know, they were stateless. Mm. They were, they were governed. So you see the system, was the, so what these guys, these white guys, tried doing was to bring these colonies together. Together, yeah. And so, but they discovered that if they bring these guys together, if they unify these guys, they may not be able to achieve their aim, whatever their aim is. That's mm -hmm. story for another so, yeah, day. Definitely, definitely. So, but, you know, what's very vital is that they wanted to establish a system where these guys are regional powers, mm -hmm. but they can still be the central government. Hmm. So I think that's the history of federalism in Nigeria hmm. then. As time went on, we had, you know, several processes, several mm -hmm. processes which may not have time to start talking about yeah, the yeah. 1922 constitution yeah. till 1999 constitution. So I think federalism is actually a very good system of government where the central government has, you know, um, um, a higher, has a higher concentration power, of yeah, power, yeah. while the regional governments are supportive Mm. They, you know, they derive their past from the central mm. unit. Now, speaking about uh, making sure that everybody is inclusive in making this country great, uh, because as it be so, people they feel say, uh, I beg, make I do the one way I feel do, make I. Uh, so people don't even know what they even supposed to do to make sure say they. And the people don't they don't know their rights. They don't know what as a citizen you supposed they enjoy. You don't know the the, the part where you supposed to play to make sure say everything they do okay. So as as a person we understand this thing now. How you go fit take explain them to people where they watch now. Okay, well, this is not what you feel do. This is not what you supposed to do. This is your responsibility. Now how you supposed to make make things happen with that because now great Nigeria will define. So how everybody take uh, gets involvement? It, I, to me, it's it not the relative now because, I mean, it has always been the, um, you know, the system of the ruling class hmm. from time immemorial to um, reduce the masses to a state of um, um, political illiteracy. Hmm. So um, a lot of people do not really understand how it goes. But, you know, the good thing is that now people are beginning to 
understand how the system should be. Okay. And they are, they are, they are beginning to cry out. So I, I would just rather think that the government would start realizing that people are beginning to understand the concept on their own hmm. without being taught. So there's need for them to sit up. You know, there's need for the government to sit up to start because we are, I don't think we are a federal state in terms of practice. In practice. In terms of practice. Hmm. You know, we were, this, these things were self-imposed on us. And because it was self-imposed on us, we started practicing it without recourse to going back to, you know, the um, way federalism should be. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me, I'll just see a state where the, um, um, the reverse has, is the case as hmm. it stands. Hmm. So it is, it, is, it is left for an Indi are, you, are you going to say that uh, now for a person where they watch now, it is left for him to ask questions? Share your feed talks, okay, are there ways that you can tell this person, oh, yeah, as it be you as an, as an individual, as a Nigerian citizen, you suppose they get this kind of information, you suppose they question government regarding some things where government they do, or you could just take and say, as we talk about the f federalism system of government, where the central get power, uh -huh, and the other regionals, they're still they listen to what the central get. So, Shay, as, as a citizen, you feel say you know get say, or you go wait anything where government tell you to do, you go do, or as it, because a lot of people don't even know their rights starting from there. Citizens' rights now. Waiting citizens, suppose, say citizens feel they ask government a question. Citizens feel they ask government, okay, wait till I use this public fund, do. All these kind of things now with the face for uh, the country has to be. And as you say, talk about political illiteracy. How person will feel, say, okay, I one day aware politically. Waiting will feel they do to make sure, say, that our political uh, illiteracy level go, to go change, go increase. Waiting will feel, say, citizens feel do. I, 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 I think. Um there needs to be apparatus. It's supposed to get institutions okay. here and there. With the, you know, gone are the days when we have non-governmental organizations that are always are going around there, you know, teaching people teaching and people. telling people their rights. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the 1999 constitution actually ushered in fundamental directives okay. Okay, that guarantees human rights mm -hmm. generally. Mm -hmm. And you find out that the constitution actually guaranteed us even right to eat. Yeah. You know, do you understand? Yeah. So. As it stands, we need to start appealing to the government to because I I I I, I, re I start realizing that the, some of these NGOs are shutting down hmm. because they are always being um, attacked here and there okay. for trying to emancipate, to emancipate the, the people. The, the people. Hmm. So I feel that we it's high time we start practicing true federalism. It's high time we start, you know, um, 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 we start. Allowing people to enjoy this right as mm. it is, mm. not you know as they are, as they perceive it, but mm. as it is, as it's supposed to be. As it's supposed to be. Hmm. Now speaking about um, and the government uh, emancipating, the, you know, educating the people. You feel say as the citizens, don't they have a role to play? Because we they always they talk and say uh, the government, the government, the government. As citizens. What if you say the citizen role will be to make sure say that information where the government you talk say government no, no they give you how you go take get them by yourself? Yes, yes. The, I I think it's vital for us to realize that all of us would, should endeavor to go into personal development. Okay, it's very vital. Everybody because. Even at my stage, I'm still eager to go on finishing my PhD. Okay. Do you understand? So we all have to strive because these are things that ordinary in the Western world, we may have them ordinarily. Ordinarily, yes. But because we did for this part of the world, mm -hmm. we know they get all those things. Mm -hmm. So we have to now strive and start also, you put our, our children and our children, children in positions where they have to enjoy education to the fullest. Hmm. I, I, I understand that people are going to say, oh, education is a waste. No, but it's not true. Hmm. The reason why we are backward in this part of the continent mm -hmm. is because there's high rate of illiteracy. Hmm. Recall that we had, we have all the natural resources yes. as it may be. Yes. But have we been able to harness them? Let's take our country for an ex for example, mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, what and what have we been able to harness in the past 10 years? Hmm. When, we, when we had them, Hmm. We had them from time. Mm -hmm. So I believe that the canker worm that's eating us up is illiteracy. Illiteracy. And that is what they keep pre-introducing, reintroducing. So 
if if uh, some people go see they argue say okay literacy uh, if ed education no means say no necessarily means say you need to be inside the four walls of a of a university or a, a secondary school or a high school but at least you could get the information where you go need to take journey through this part of life regarding the things that you need to do so since people they argue say okay uh, you, as you take talk and people they talk say education now waste then they talk about school say no you don't need necessarily to need to go to school to become who you want to be you feel say people still they even they, they get the other kinds of education where we suppose they get if the educational the schooling kind of education they expensive because if you look at from primary secondary university if you not get some kind of money if they usually know today easy for this part of the world we did so as substitutes which you feel say we feel do if you know if we go that forward zone, no which you feel say okay we feel do to take make sure say we still get this information we will need to make this country reach where we supposed supposed carry and go but funny enough funny enough before or uh, i think early 1999 we had we had technical schools. Okay. I recall vividly well. We went to public schools. I mean, we mm -hmm. went to public mm -hmm. schools, so we can tell very well that these things were in place, but they were underused. And, mm. and then as a result, we deepened. We went backward. Government neglected. Mm. They refused to, you know, rebuild the system. So I feel that it, it, as, indivi as, a, as an individual, but all these things are foundational. If you don't have that foundation, to develop yourself personally, it will be hard for you. True. So I think that True. it's high time that um, even as individuals who are, you know, uh, state players, mm -hmm. we have to now take steps to start going out there to, you know, preach to these guys the importance of education, whether mm -hmm. personally mm -hmm. or, um, you know, whether privately or publicly, mm -hmm. as the case may be. Mm -hmm. So I feel everything still boils boy, 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 down to um, foundation mm. to an extent. Mm. Because you can't, tell a, you can't tell an old man to, uh, he, I mean, you can't tell an old man to start le learning virtues at, at fresh. At, 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 at e the state exactly. at which he has gotten to. Exactly. Now, speaking about, before we wrap up, uh, this is inclusion, uh, because you made mention of political, you know, in, um, being aware politically as uh, citizens of the country, and the inclusion politically. A lot of Nigerians, young Nigerians, they feel, say, they, they always talk, and, yeah, politics now very, very one kind system. I know one day involved, I know one day involved. And... As a citizen, it is your right to exercise. You know that if you want, if you want to change government, you need to vote. Now, something we supposed to do, and we still know a lot of Nigerians. We go talk say, I never vote for my life, and these are people way above the age of uh, where they go fee votes. Why you think say this kind of thing they happen? Why you think say people still get that kind of mentality? And how we go fit change them? Because that are one of the major ways where we go fit day inclusive in changing the country. So how you feel say this thing fit change? What will fit do to reorientate people regarding this thing? No, number one, we have to realize that um, it is our right to vote mm -hmm. and to be voted for. Mm -hmm. It is a right. But I'll give you an example. The last election, I walked from Shangote to Lekki Face One to cast my vote. That's because I understand that this is a right mm -hmm. and I must exercise that right, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever I express. So I think that um, one of the reasons why inclusiveness has failed is because the system has allowed the failure to exist. Hmm. Because um, I will give you another example. When I went to um, get my voter's card, okay. it was tedious. A lot, it's, it's rigorous. A lot mm. of people... Uh, a lot of people don't have that patience. Hmm. Do you understand? So the system has to permit that, you know, um, softness, that um, access yeah. to this, um, you know, uh, apparatus mm -hmm. so that we can uh, uh, be able to assess our rights mm -hmm. to vote and be voted for. Hmm. So I think it's a mutual thing. It has to start from them and then it has to exist from us. But then, like I keep saying, it's in stages. At the point where the state does not allow, you know, our own stage to fall in, yeah. then it means that we have to take it up hmm. on our own. Hmm. 
Interesting. So as it be so, everybody gets role to play. As you take account, the government get their part and the citizens also get their part. And creating that system will go be easier for people to even exercise these things. Now, be one of the failures, according to the way government no fit uh, to tackle that system. They need to create that system. All right. Uh, as it be so, we believe, say, a lot of people don't hear this one. They don't understand, say, uh, make we not just the face government, government alone. We self get part to play in this um, in inclusiveness of making this country a better place. Uh, um, uh, Barrister, thank you very much for this conversation we'll get today. And we believe that people don't hear this one, they don't understand. When they don't hear federalism again, they're going to say, okay, now waiting in me and be this, and I'm waiting themselves need to do to make sure say it better. Uh, I just speak with uh, B -B Barrister Harry, and he just gives us this better conversation regarding these things we need to know. True federalism.